Okay. So I had a few people recently tell me that they wanted to see a little bit more carpet board videos, and I haven't really thought of a good like theme or subject for the video, and I decided that I wanted to teach people with some carpet boarding stuff, but rather than it just being a single trick tip, I'm going to teach the five easiest tricks that you can learn on a carpet board. Now this might be pretty self-explanatory, so if you're if you're good at skateboarding or you have at least a little bit of talent, you could do shubbits and 180s and stuff like that. Obviously, those are going to be the easiest things that you can do on a carpet board, but when it comes to flipping the board, there are a few tricks that kind of are a little bit different than when you do it on a skateboard. In my opinion, when I carpet board, it's slightly different when I do some tricks, like kick flips and heel flips. And I wanted to give my two cents of after my years of carpet board experience, because I'm a freaking master now. So the first trick being the pop shove it. Who would have thought? Just like that. So for those of you who don't know what a pop shove it is, a pop shove it is when with your feet you make the skateboard do a pop and then you shove it and it lands back down. So in total the board is a 180 and you make your feet do the 180. This is a very basic trick that most skateboarders learn on their skateboard very fast. When you translate it to the carpet, uh, it's pretty, it's, I would say it's much easier than when you actually do it on a real skateboard because with skateboarding, a lot of carpet board tricks that you have to do, you have to put a lot more effort into popping it. And with the carpet board, uh, some of the easier tricks, it's just super simple. You can just shove it and it just spins around because it's not as scary when you're on something a lot softer than concrete or if you skate on like water, that'd be cool. I guess water would be softer, so if you can skateboard on water, try doing pop shovels there, but if not, take it to the carpet board and you can be able to do it there. So since you're already on the carpet, it's going to be a lot easier to commit to something like this. If you're regular, your right foot will be on the tail right here, and you just kind of scoop it back and the board will do a 180 motion. And uh, with it just being a carpet board, it's going to be a lot lighter, so it'll rotate very fast and you'll most likely over-rotate it, which is okay. It's not bad if it does that, but it'll scoop around, you just kind of catch it early, and you land on it with both feet, and that's pretty much out of battle. It's kind of nice when you get to skate on a carpet board because the commitment is much easier than when you're on concrete. So if you're goofy, the trick translates to it being your left foot as the back foot, so you just scoop it behind you. Board is 180, you catch it. And you can do this with front side shove too, you just have to shove it the other way, so rather than it, the tail of the board going behind you as in your back, the, with a front shove it'll go in front of you and you're towards your, around your stomach, if that makes sense. You can learn shove its shove is isn't easy, the first trick that you can learn on a carpet board. Trick two, oh, 360 shove it. So you just take the last trick and you do two of them. 360 shove it looks like this. Pretty simple, right? Simple. So if you're like me, you cannot do 360 shove it on flat ground on a normal skateboard. So obviously it's a lot easier to do on a carpet board. So like the shove it, instead of just catching it early, you just let it rotate more and you have to scoop it a little bit harder. But very fairly easy trick, which is why you're watching this video. It's an easy carpet board trick. And this is a, actually one that a lot of people will most likely miss if you're playing in the game of skate because if they're not good at carpet boarding or they're just kind of starting out and you're playing a game of skate, most likely it'll either rotate too much or it won't rotate enough and you can get a letter on them. So it's pretty good. I would say 360 shove it is an easy trick to do. It looks a lot harder to do when you try to execute it. So that's pretty good. That's trick two, 360 shove it. Moving on to number three. Now number three, this kind of may be s silly in this list of five tricks, but it is the switch pop shove it. And this may seem like it's pretty silly to be on this list because it's literally the same trick that I said is number one, but instead of it being on the first part of the list, it's number three. But believe it or not, this trick can actually get a lot of people, even if you're on a normal skateboard, shove it's can get people in games of skates. So you already know how to do the shove it. It's when you make the board do a 180, but with your feet and you don't turn your body at all. But so you switch your stance up, go into the opposite stance. If you're goofy, go to regular, regular, you go to goofy. So the only obstacle you would have to overcome would be just getting comfortable and having the balance of standing switch. So as soon as you get that, you should be able to just shove the board 180 around. It's, it's a fairly, fairly simple thing to do. But after that, we are moving on to the final two tricks, and that would be the heel flip and the kick flip. We'll start with the kick flip because I think the heel flip's a little bit harder. So with the kick flip, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of weird that you're watching a carpet board video. You should watch a skateboard kick flip first, but kick flip on a carpet board is when you pop the board, you flick it with your front foot and you make it it's kind of like a kicking motion, which is what people say when they're saying how to do a kick flip. You kick it and it goes like this, catch it, you land it. What makes it hard is that you don't have a lot of room to pop off the ground to actually have it come up with you. And a lot of times if you just try kicking out like a normal kick flip, the board will fly ahead of you. So what I do that I think is a little bit helpful for a tip when you're doing it on a carpet board is when you kick flip is you kick a little bit more down than you normally would on an actual skateboard. So if you're trying, since you don't have as much pop, you want to get the flick to happen as fast as you can. So don't freak out when you pop it, just flick down as fast as you can right away. 
but just flick it a little bit faster than you normally would on a normal skateboard, like on a normal skateboard, and it should work out pretty well. It's not the same thing as doing it when you're on a normal skateboard, I will say that, but uh, it feels a little bit different, but it's definitely one of the most basic tricks that you can do. And if you're like me and you suck at them, um, you will get a letter on someone like me who can't do them and they freak out when someone else does them in a game of skate on a carpet board. So, kickflip. Pop it, kick it, drop it, pull it, bop it. So for the, so for the final trick, the heel flip. This one, far, far more difficult than the kickflip. Pretty much it's sort of like the kickflip as if you don't want to pop it and hit it with your heel flip and kick super far out. Uh, you want you want to kick more down because uh, it's kind of like the same thing as the kick flip. You don't have as much pop, so you want to get the flip to happen as fast as you can. You kick down your heel, make it rotate, do a full 360, and once you see it, go all the way around. You land on it. I know that kind of is like a very bland way of explaining it, but the gist of it is literally going to focus more so on popping on the center of the tail where you have the most height from the ground. So if if my hand is the ground like this and it's at the bottom, you kind of only have a few inches to pop rather than like double the amount that you'd have on a normal skateboard. So after you get the board up as high as it can go on the carpet, like you're not, you're only gonna have about a few degrees off the ground is when you're gonna wanna kick at the very top of the board as fast as you can uh, to make it flip super fast. And after that, you just kinda stick on it. It'll take practice, but uh, these are pretty much the most basic tricks other than like 180s or something that you could do on a carpet board. Because I will say, I'll just be the one to say it, I think 180s look a little bit weird, unless you had like a flip and do it, but it's just me, it's just my opinion. Just my opinion. So those were, in my opinion, the most five basic tricks that you could do on a carpet board. So if this is your, even if it's your first time skating, a carpet boarding is a fun extra activity that you could do if it's on a rainy day or if it's snowing out or if mother nature is just out to get you that day and you can't skate. Actually, I've learned tricks from doing them on, them on a carpet board first and then translating it to my real skateboard. And uh, it's, it's fun to do. You'd be surprised about the stuff that you feel more comfortable doing on a carpet board than you do on a normal skateboard. Um, if you're like me, anyways. I know it may have been on a, a little bit of a shorter side, but um, I just wanted to get this out there because a few people have been asking for carpet board videos and I'm not the one who can think of a lot of good challenges or themes to it other than like a game of skate. So I tried to do something a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I will be back. <laughs> I will be back soon with another, oh my gosh, ah, oh. I will be back soon with another video and until then, I'll try to do all five of these tricks in a row right now, so. Show it. Done. Three shove. Done. Switch shove. Done. Kick flip. Done. Here we go. This is where I'm gonna mess up. Oh. Are you guys there? I'm sorry. Don't leave me. Watch this. Boom. New trick that I said that I couldn't do on a normal skateboard. Switch variable flip. See if I can do it still. All right. Goodbye.